In Remnant 2, I feel as though a lot of players, especially new ones, are going to be making some big mistakes. So in this video, we are going to go through seven big mistakes that you're probably still making when playing Remnant 2. And some people might not see them as mistakes, so you can also class it as some tips for when you are playing through the game. And at number one is Fat Rolling. Your armor stat is very, very helpful, but when you put on armor, it's got a weight value to it. The higher your weight, the heavier you're going to be, the slower you're going to roll, and eventually you'll start fat rolling. This can easily get you killed when you're facing certain enemies that are going to require you to be quick. And not only that, armor has different resistances that I would say you really need to pay attention to as well. For an example, in the first world, I would highly recommend focusing on your fire and your bleed resistance more than any of the others, maybe even curse when you get to places like the Great Hall. Then we have not smashing the breakable object in the world to find scrap. It's the absolute fastest way to get your hands on it and you're going to get lots of it over time by smashing things. You can smash objects by either using your melee or you can even combat roll into them. It's really fast, you're gonna get a bunch of scrap I'm not too far into the game. Some of the upgrades are costing me maybe 600, 800 or something like that. And I'm currently sitting at a little over 6,000. Then at number three, we have not exploring the areas you are in. There can be tomes of knowledge, which are trait points. There can be rings, amulets, more hidden things that you can find in tiny areas that you will not find naturally. So I would 100% recommend to explore every single little area that you encounter in the game. Then number four is not returning to Ward 13 to upgrade your weapons and check out any of the new mods and stuff you might have obtained. I wouldn't do it too often. I would maybe clear one big area and a couple of small dungeons before going back back just make sure that you've got a decent amount of iron or if you're further in the game than the forged iron the galvanized iron make sure you have a decent amount and also the scrap but if the enemies do start to get a little bit too difficult that also signals that it's maybe time to return to ward 13 and do some upgrades number five is rushing through the main story path instead of exploring and doing the different dungeons available you never know what you're going to miss and the game is based on exploration so i would 100 avoid rushing through the main story just to get it done and start a new campaign and go through it all again i would definitely focus on exploring all of the little different dungeons and stuff and that also ties in with number six and that is re-rolling your campaign too early i would recommend completing the entire game before you re-roll as the game is procedurally generated and you can find some of the best stuff in the game in any run that you do so by not exploring rushing through the main story you're probably going to miss out on a lot of cool items some that could make your future runs way faster so don't make it a priority to do one world and then re-roll and things like that i would strongly suggest making sure you go through the entire game at least once before you start re-rolling and then at the final one at number seven is restarting the campaign just to change your archetype when you have unlocked new archetypes and you've bought them at ward 13 archetypes also being your classes you are able to switch them whenever you want to you do not have to start a new campaign to select a different archetype to play as and that is seven big mistakes i believe you're probably still making when playing Remnant 2. And on that note, we are going to leave the video there. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like is appreciated. If you wish to support me further as a creator, there are links in the description. Let me know your thoughts about the video in the comments. And if you want to watch more, you can click the video on screen. All support on the channel is greatly appreciated and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.